Hey everybody, it's Michael with Songbird and the Orchid over in Old Colorado City. It's the third week of March and so most people are on spring break and that means springtime and that means hummingbirds are right around the corner. So there's a couple of tricky dates and everybody always asks, when do I put my hummingbird feeder out? So I want to give you a little bit of information about what to expect over the next couple weeks in terms of dates, sightings, and activity. Uh, I'm also going to work on a series of hummingbird videos like this talking about ants and bees and which is the best hummingbird feeder and hummingbird feeders that leak. Kind of some of the best tips and tricks as part of my informational series with Songbird and the Orchid. So stay tuned to my YouTube channel, but to get right into it, April 1st is the date I say for most of my Colorado Springs customers to put it out. I used to say April 15th, tax day, it was kind of an easy one to remember. Then I said about a week earlier, and now it's April 1st. In the last couple of years, my first confirmed sightings and, and actually hearings is how I'm going to call it, were actually in March. So you will start hearing a couple hummingbirds probably just in the next few days. So, but here's the trick. What you're hearing is our Rocky Mountain Hummer. He's the broad-tailed, it's the male, they are the scouts. And you hear that word a lot of times when you're hearing about hummingbirds. The scouts are the first to migrate in, starting to look for territory. As these male birds are moving in and looking for territory, they are still kind of in their migratory uh, pattern. Some of these birds can fly for days and days without really feeding. So you hear them before you actually see activity at your feeder. So while I say put your feeders out April 1st, you're not going to see a lot of hummingbirds at your feeder until probably about April 15th. But I like to put them out a little earlier because those migratory birds, if they do need a little sugar hit to keep getting some more calories to, to, to continue on their migration, your hummingbird feeder could be a must needed respite for them and, and an energy source. The one thing you do want to watch is for freezes. Next Tuesday, we're supposed to get a snow and typical Colorado fashion. So what you don't want is a deep freeze that's going to freeze and crack your hummingbird feeder because then you're going to be in buying a hummingbird feeder and that's expense that you know you don't necessarily need to be expending. So watch for those, those deep freezes. Pull it in overnight, but put it out first thing in the morning as well in case the birds are around. So April, last week of March and April 1st is when you'll start hearing them. April 15th, you start seeing a little more act activity. The females and the juveniles that were born last summer will start coming in mid to late April. By May 1st, you actually see a lot of activity. So that's kind of where you hear all these different dates, you're hearing them, but you're not seeing them, and it causes a lot of confusion. But again, when they're migrating, they aren't necessarily feeding at least the male scouts. They're pushing the envelope, looking for territory. Some are stopping in Colorado, some are heading further north. Uh, Idaho, Montana, some are going up into the mountains, and um, that's kind of the, the disparity in the dates you hear. So feel free to call me if you have any questions at 719-475-1700. Come see our shop in Old Car City, and stay tuned for the other videos and other information on different tips to tricks on your hummingbird feeders. So thanks.